This man waiting for the train looks at his watch, but he doesn't want to know the time. His watch is also a wireless device, letting him adjust the volume of his headphones. Here on the train, his headphones are connected wirelessly to his tablet. And in the car, his mobile phone communicates with the stereo system. All these wireless connections have one thing in common. Bluetooth, a system permitting different electronic devices to communicate with each other via radio waves. The father of Bluetooth is the Dutch inventor Jaap Hartsen. In this lab in Emmen, in the Netherlands, he and his team are looking for new Bluetooth applications. When the technology appeared in 1994, it was a real revolution. Suddenly it was possible to cut the number of wires in the office or at home. In 2010, more than 2 billion Bluetooth-enabled devices were sold worldwide. Before Bluetooth, another way for devices to communicate wirelessly was infrared light. But the gadgets had to stay within each other's line of sight. Okay, here you see a little bit of the evolution and of the history of uh, Bluetooth. Uh, first on products, where you see uh, uh, shrinking the dimensions of the products itself. Back in 2000, we had uh, this uh, rather big uh, headset, uh, the first Bluetooth headset uh, made here in Emmen for mono voice communications. And you saw uh, on the way that uh, it became smaller. And in late uh, th 2000s, uh, we saw this uh, small headset. But what's the relation between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi? Are internet-connected devices replacing Bluetooth? Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, make use of the same radio waves, the same spectrum, but uh, they don't interfere with each other. There are means that they don't interfere with each other. And we see now that both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are used in the same devices. So in mobile phones, in laptops, uh, in tablets, they have both Bluetooth and they have Wi-Fi. And that's because they have completely different use scenarios. Uh, Wi-Fi is used for internet access. Uh, for browsing, whereas uh, Bluetooth is much more for music listening, uh, mouse or a keyboard. Il nome Bluetooth viene dal re the name Harold Bluetooth comes from a 10th century king of Denmark, Harald I, otherwise known as Harald Bluetooth. The king managed to unify different Scandinavian populations, as today Bluetooth technology unifies different electronic devices, allowing them to communicate with each other. 49-year-old Jaap Hartsen lives and works in Emmen, a village in the heart of Holland. As the inventor of Bluetooth, he's among the nominees for the European Inventor Award, organized by the European Patent Office, which takes place in June in Copenhagen. When I started with Bluetooth, I could never imagine that it would be this big. But it feels very nice to see people using your technology how do you think you've been useful to people? I think in the daily life, uh, how the people now use uh, small devices that they connect to their phones and to their laptops, uh, they don't realize that there's Bluetooth in inside, but it makes life much easier. What does the word inventor mean to you? Inventor for me uh, gives uh, an indication of freedom that I could uh, do new things and uh, to uh, put my uh, brains to uh, unexplored areas. Millions of people in the world listen to music with Bluetooth devices every day. But Hartson has other ideas. He's thinking about shrinking Bluetooth still further so it could be used in medical or fitness devices, for example.